Good morning. So, Ms. Shamdo is going to help you a little bit out with the homework. Part 1 is convert from log to exponential form. Okay, so given number 1, log base 5 of 25 equals y. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a loop. So, you start in always with your base, which is 5 right here, and then you draw, go to the other side and back to this side. So you're going to write the base 5 to the power of y equals 25. Okay, so that's number 1. We're going to do the same thing to number 2. Log base 3 of 1 equals y. So we're going to start at your base, which is 3. Draw it to the other side. And then back to this side. Okay, so 3 to the power of y equals 1. That's it. And that's how you do part 1. Okay. Part 2 asks you to define vertical and horizontal asymptote domain and range for the following graph. So here's number 1. The graph of h of x looks like this. This one is an exponential graph. Okay, it's going up. Uh, exponential growth. So it crossing the y-axis at 4 right here, it just means they have the y-intercept at 4. But it doesn't matter in our graph, okay? For our graph, we're looking at the, the very, very, um, the left part right here to all the way up. So the this graph is going to have a horizontal asymptote, which is the line right here. Okay, so your graph gets very, very, very close to the positive 3 on the y, but it never ever actually touch. Remember the the line right here is called the uh, asymptote, which is the, um, it's like the electric fence that you you can never cross, or you, the graph never go over. So this one is horizontal asymptote. You just circle the horizontal. Okay, and this one for the domain, let's go from the left to the right. So the man is going to go all the way left and all the way right. So it's going to have from negative infinity to infinity. To positive infinity. There you go. Another way you write all real numbers. Okay. Uh, the second one they ask is range. Range go from the bottom to the top. So remember it's go this way. So your graph go from the lowest to the highest. Remember the lowest is gonna line in the number that it cannot touch, which is the y value right here is positive three. Okay, remember there's the uh, imaginary line right here at three. It's your graph cannot connect, cannot go over. Okay, so it starts positive three to infinity, or y is greater than positive three. Okay, that's how you do number two, part two, horizontal asymptote. Domain from all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity. The range all the way up from 3, so 3 to positive infinity. 3 is not included because that's the asymptote. Here is number 2 with another graph. So this graph has, this is a log, logarithmic um, function. So they have an imaginary line right here. It's called a vertical asymptote. Okay, remember anything start with L, log or LN is going to have a vertical asymptote. So this line right here is x equals 0. So you just need to circle the vertical asymptote. For the domain, we start from the left to the right. So your graph have a, a line right here, at x equals 0 that it cannot cross. And it go all the way to the right of 0. So it's going to be x is greater than 0. Another word is 0 to positive infinity. Okay, for the range, is going from all the way down, which is negative infinity, to positive infinity. Okay, just because your your graph kind of touch right here doesn't mean it's going to um, equal to that number. Remember that. Remember we have the vertical asymptote, the electric fence that your graph cannot cross to the left. Okay, so your range go from negative infinity to positive infinity, all the way down, all the way up. Or another word you can say is all real numbers, okay? Part three is the opposite of part one. So what you do is you just start with your base, go to the other side, back over here. 
So you write log base 1 over 5 of y equals x.